In this video, we are going to see how temperature affects the activity of the enzyme Invertase on a sucrose solution. Invertase is obtained from yeast and is used to make certain candies. How does temperature affect the activity of this enzyme? Let's find out. Here is a list of equipment and supplies we need. Spectrophotometer, water baths 1500, 4 degrees centigrade refrigerator, test tubes, test tube racks, glass cuvettes, Kim wipes, one mil transfer pipettes, 0.3% sucrose solution, Invertase suspension, pH 5 buffer, and DNS dinitrosalicylic acid. Safety equipment, gloves, goggles, lab coats are recommended, fume hood, and hot mitts. It's best to turn on the spectrophotometer and let it warm up while it's setting up the experiment. This is a Genesis 20 and it turns on in the back. You may use this model or you may use the Genesis 30. It turns on at the side. Now we're going to see how temperature affects Invertase enzyme activity. Obtain a test tube rack, two test tubes, and label them one and two. In this video, we will be doing all the temperature groups, so we will label the tubes 1 through 8 to prevent confusion. But when you are in the lab, you will probably be divided into groups to perform your assigned temperature. We will be adding solutions in this order. First, we will add one mil of sucrose solution to each test tube. Then we add our pH 5 buffer, one mil into test tube number one, and 0.5 mils to test tube number two. Lastly, we add 0.5 mils Invertase suspension only to test tube number two. We will incubate each group of test tubes at their assigned temperature for 15 minutes. One and two go into the refrigerator at four degrees centigrade. Three and four will be set on the counter for 20 degrees. Five and six will go into 50 degree water bath. Be careful, it's hot. Seven and eight will go into the 100 degree water bath. Be very careful, it's very hot. Fifteen minutes later, we take them out of their respective temperatures and take them to the fume hood. Now you need to add one mil of DNS, that's dinitrosalicylic acid, to each test tube. DNS reduces glucose, and reduced DNS is visible and measurable on a spectrophotometer. DNS is also corrosive and should be handled safely. Now we put the tubes back into the 100 degree water bath for 10 minutes. Pull the test tubes from the 100 degree water bath, be careful it's hot, and let cool.
set the spectrophotometer to 540 nanometers because this is the optimal absorbance of sugars reduced by DNS. We will be using glass cuvettes for our analysis. When you are in the lab, you will label your cuvettes 1 and 2. Again, for this video, we will label them 1 to 8 to prevent confusion. Transfer the contents of the test tubes into their respectively labeled cuvette. Tube number one is your blank. This is for setting the spectrophotometer to zero. In this experiment, the blank is the solution that only has sucrose and pH buffer. Using a Kim wipe, wipe down the cuvette labeled number one. This is our blank. Place in the spectrophotometer cuvette chamber, close the cover, and press the zero button. This zeroes the machine. Make sure the reading is stable and not drifting. Now it's time to read cuvette number two. Wipe down the tube, place in cuvette chamber, and close the cover. Read the number on the display, record the absorbance. Repeat this with each temperature sample tube. Here's a graph of our results. 50 degrees C is the optimal temperature for Invertase enzyme activity.